I can like feel the lace a little bit. Also occasionally got a little uh, front labia wedgie. Don't judge me, I fished them out of the dirty laundry. I have to do the squeeze test as well. Oh, okay. There it is. I don't wear thongs. I have never worn thongs. So how did we get here? Hey everyone, I'm Hannah. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do subscribe. We make new videos every week about sex and relationships and bodies and just have a good time most of the time. We are in a global pandemic. I feel like I can't make a video without addressing it. And also most of the vlog clips of this video were filmed before isolation. And also this bit, this intro bit, is being filmed a bit before it's going out. So, I mean, things are changing every day. So who knows what kind of situation that we're going to be in. You may have seen on social media, I was planning on taking a week break from making content because I was under capacity, but with everything being canceled, I have loads of capacity now to make videos. So that's what we're doing. And I'm very lucky that the main part of my job, which is making content for the internet, is something that I can still do at home, self-isolating. So that's what I'm going to do. And now let's talk about thongs. What a segue. I've never really been a thong person. I think when I was about 14, I bought a thong from Primark. I feel like that's some kind of rite of passage. It's something that every teenager has to do just to try it out. And then maybe when you do that, you're like, oh my God, thongs are for me. I did not have that experience. I was like, thongs are definitely not for me. So my go-to underwear for most of my adult life has been the kind of like low rise lacy shorts, like hot pants, but they're not like boxes. They're like where half of your ass is on show, that kind of thing. That was my jam. I love the underwear. But then two years ago, I had emergency surgery and had to have my colon removed. And now I have a stoma bag. And so I threw out all of my low rise underwear. And for the last two years, I have been exclusively wearing high waisted briefs. That sounds super sexy. High waisted briefs. The thing is, is that you can wear whatever underwear you want when you have a stoma bag. This is not a case that everyone with a stoma wears high waisted underwear. This is just what suited me. I like something that just holds the bag down in place. So I just know it's secure. It's not like poking out of my underwear and like scratching my skin. And it's also just not like flapping around and just getting in the way. So I just like to have high-waisted underwear that just fully covers it. So in the last couple of years, the main reason why I haven't even considered thongs is because I assumed that all thongs were low rise. Apparently not. So I can't remember what or who planted this in my brain, but I discovered that actually you can get high-waisted thongs. I don't know when that happened. But then I was talking to Dan about it, my partner. I was like, oh, I might do this video where I try different high-waisted thongs with a stoma bag and see what's good. And then he told me that high-waisted thongs were his favorite kind of underwear on a lady. And I was just like, <clears throat> We've been together for three years and this is the first time you mentioned to me your underwear preference. I felt cheated. I felt cheated. So that's another element of why I was then like, right, I'm doing this video. What? Why did he tell me what kind of underwear he liked? Here I've been wearing high-waisted granny briefs for two years for the majority of our relationship and he's not said anything. What? Anyway, well now we know that Dan's favorite underwear is high-waisted thongs. <laughs> and Dan will feature quite heavily in this video. So if you're a fan of him, you're a fan of this video. Okay, so then what happened was I went on Twitter and I asked for different brands who do high-waisted thongs and I had a look and I basically bought five different thongs from five different brands, got a bit of a mix and I wore them for a week. I mean, this video is pretty self-explanatory. So first, let's go through each of the thongs. Isn't this the content that you deserve during isolation? Here I am showing you my underwear, woo! So first, here's a little clip of me in my high-waisted briefs that I love to wear and I'm wearing currently. Um, but this is what they look like. Very nice and snug and secure, full coverage all round. Great, we love it. Love to see it. And now onto the thongs. 
So the first thong is this green lacy number from ASOS. It's very see-through. Thong number two is this black pair from Everlane. Everlane is a US company, so I did have to pay like quite a lot in shipping for this, and they are a sustainable brand. And also, this thong is very much like a seamless kind of thing. Like, it very much looks like it's designed to have no seams like when you're wearing it, but it also kind of looks like someone just took a piece of black fabric and just got some scissors to it, cut it in a thong shape and then handed it to you and did nothing else to it. But that's that. And also it's not super high-waisted. It doesn't like fully cover the stoma bag, but that was thong number two. Thong number three is Tala. Tala is Grace Beverly's business. She's a fitness YouTuber and Tala is also a sustainable brand. They were sold out of pretty much all of their thongs except for white in extra small. Now all of the other thongs I bought were either a small or a medium, but I got them anyway because I wanted to test them. But look how tiny. <laughs> oh my God, look how tiny it looks. And also I probably wouldn't go for white. I definitely prefer black underwear to white underwear, but um, I wanted to include them in this video. So that's Tala. Thong number four was one from Anne Summers. I, I felt like I had to include one from like a sexy lingerie brand just so we could have that variety. This one's got lots of sequins on it and a little gap here with a little dingly dangly bead thing going on. And it's got the see-through bum thing. And thong number five was from Vanilla Blush, which is a small business from up in Glasgow, um, run by Nicole, who has a stoma and she makes gorgeous underwear for people with stoma bags. So this is her high-waisted thong. So it's got a little thong at the back, but it's very, very high up. And the accommodations for a stoma bag is basically that there is a layer of fabric inside and you can pop the stoma bag in that, which is great because it doesn't like scratch on your skin. We've got a stoma bag specific thong as well. So those are the five thongs. I wore each of them for one day for a week and you're going to see the vlog footage of that now and then we're gonna come back and we're going to score them. So the criteria is, <clears throat> I made all of this up afterwards, um, the criteria is style, uh, comfort, sex appeal, so that's Dan's score, Dan has his own scoring system, and then stoma bag because this is important is how it all functions with having a stoma bag. So, without further ado, past Hannah, pre-self-isolation, wearing thongs. All right, it's day one. I'm wearing the green thong from ASOS and I often wear high-waisted jeans, so, you know, it's all nicely hidden. And, oh my God, like, it feels like I'm commando. Like, I can't, I don't know how to describe it, but wearing a thong in jeans feels so different to wearing, like, just big cotton high-waisted underwear. Very strange. I can, like, feel the lace a little bit. It, it feels like I'm sat in a cloud in my jeans. That's kind of how it feels like. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, can we see? I mean, you can't see and also the jeans are black, but obviously we can't see a nickel line. Boom, boom, boom. So today I am just working from home for most of the day. So it's just gonna be a lot of being sat down and maybe running a few errands. So we shall see how thong day one goes. Thong day one. That's really difficult to say. I just had lunch and had to undo my jeans because I'm so full. Look at that. So I went out and ran some errands and walking around in a thong and jeans, I don't know what my butt's doing. It like feels like it's gonna fall off. It does not feel secure. I don't know if I hate it though. I don't know if that's a bad thing. It's just different. There's there's nothing supporting the buttocks. It's just free to move around. I don't know, it's very strange. Um, but sitting down and just working at my desk is no different. Maybe a slight wedgie. I've just started recording. <laughs> <Got forwards. laughs> <Turn around. laughs> 
I have to do the squeeze test as well. Oh, okay. Mm, very good. Very good. <laughs> I'm going to say, we'll start at a seven. That gives me... Oh, it's, this is out of ten? Yeah, okay. seven. It gives me wiggle room for later. I don't want to have to break to go to an eleven, you know. If I started hard, it wouldn't work. Hey, these are a seven out of ten. Probably because I think they're good. So I don't want to give it a five and be right in the middle, but I don't want to, I don't want to go too high early. So you'll have to do these in the right order now for a time. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Yes, I am wearing the same top today, but I only wore it for half a day yesterday, so it's fine. Um, today, I thought I would test out doo -doo -doo -doo, wearing tights and a thong. So we shall see how this goes. At the moment, feeling fine feeling good it feels less weird than jeans feels like pretty normal nothing nothing new but the real test today is going to be zumba i'm going to the gym this is why i picked the plainest pair that i got and one we're going to see how great my butt looks in leggings and a thong and then two we're going to see like how comfortable it is <laughs> All right, it is Zumba time soon. So how is the thong behaving in leggings? To be honest, I think it's behaving pretty well. I mean, I, I can't see an underwear line. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Also, I can't feel it. I, could, I think I could feel a thong more in jeans and tights than I do in these leggings. Like, I can't feel it. We shall see how I get on dancing. If you watched my video about exercise with a stoma, which was sponsored by Fabletics, you'll have seen the butt montage. And just so you know that for every single shot of that butt montage, I gave myself a wedgie with the big underwear that I was wearing so that you couldn't see my nickel line. But now I wouldn't have to do that. So I have a thong. Oh, not not good. I mean, it's a. They're very plain. They're practical ones. The I don't feel the cuts particularly flattering. Oh. They also it also doesn't go high enough that it completely covers your bag. I don't know if that's part of the. If, yeah, that is going to be part of my review, but not your review. That's part of my review. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> no, that seems like a downside. Your your review is the sex appeal. Oh, the sex appeal, yeah. They they don't do anything really, do they? They're like <laughs> <laughs> They're the Ford Mondeo of thong underwear, I feel. And they're not even that, that thongy to be honest. Not even that thongy. No, they not... just look like you've got some normal underpants and pull them up to eye. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Dan. Not gonna lie, other than the fact that my butt looks amazing in leggings in a thong, it was a no. I currently have a really big sweaty wedgie and during Zumba, I also occasionally got a little uh, front labia wedgie, you know those, the classic. But the main issue was with my stoma bag, there just isn't enough fabric on the underwear. And so what would happen is that my stoma bag would just like slowly slide out of place and the edge of the stoma bag would just be like scratching my thigh and it'd just be really uncomfortable and I'd keep on having to put my hand right down my pants to like rearrange it. I don't know what people are thinking about that but it just... You don't want to be distracted by things being uncomfortable and not really working right in this region when you're trying to exercise. So that was a no from me other than Look how good my butt looks. <laughs> so maybe a different pair will work better that's got more stoma bag coverage. Good morning. I'm about to leave the house. Yes, we're actually not working from home today. Ah! So, so far, the two small Tala underwear are like, okay. I'm definitely getting a wedgie. Like 100% there's a wedgie. Do I care about said wedgie though? I don't know, all it needs is a little ping. But um, the stoma bag is like fully enclosed in the front part of the thong, which is good. And I'm wearing like my favorite trousers. And so far I really like the feel of my butt against 
the material. We're on for a winner so far. They might be a really good pair if I got them in the right size. I also might be going to a class at the gym tonight. I haven't decided. We shall see. Had a really bad time in the thong yesterday at the gym and I'm like, is it wise to go <laughs> in a thong that is too small? We'll see how work goes, but um, I'm actually out of the house and with other people today. So hopefully don't have to rearrange the wedgie too often. <sighs> there it is. I am home. It's only just after four and the thong is off and the bra is off. I have a bunch of work to do this evening. We are not going to the gym. And yeah, we are now commando. I really liked the Tyler thong, but it was definitely not the right size for me. I was in full wedgie mode all day. It was not pleasant, just like riding in the crack, just riding in the crack. But I do think I will purchase a small or a medium, I'm not sure whenever they come back in stock because I really liked how tight the band was over this area and it like fully covered my stoma bag. My stoma bag got really full today and I only just emptied it now as I got home and even with it being really full, the thong still like fully encapsulated the entire thing. So that's good, but um, it being too small and the wedgie, not so good. And now, this is my attire for a working evening. There you go. Almost got a glimpse of dirty thong in the laundry basket. So I spoke too soon. I forgot that Dan had to do the sex appeal test. So don't judge me. I fished them out of the dirty laundry and put them back on. And so now we do the test. And also I think I figured out a better way for me to be able to film you and for you to be able to touch my bum at the same time. The crack makes it the full on selfie. Yeah. Mm. Although, first of all, you haven't really done it on properly. <laughs> you've kind of failed at the first hurdle. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I rushed. <laughs> okay, first of all, go. I feel like it, it's the best cut one. Okay, so these ones are actually a size too small for me. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, they do look a, a wee bit tight, let's mm -hmm. be honest. Yeah. But uh, they're very, very good. They have the right the cut here. Yeah, you like that cut at the front, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So I will give them an, 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 what did I go for the first one? Seven. seven. So we've got a seven of four. So this one will be... You've not done the butt test. I did the butt test. Oh, so okay. You didn't even notice. My I don't even really feel soft. that. It was because you, it's because you basically just rearranged my underwear. Well, yeah, but it's a drive. <laughs> but I do think your bum looks best in them, so I'm going to give them an... Eight. An eight. So what we've discovered so far is that the least comfy pair is apparently the best looking pair. Yeah, I think there's something to be said for that. <laughs> I think that's true for most things in life. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and we're back in pajamas. Ee, 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 ee. Good morning. So I'm not wearing a thong right now. I know, shock horror. I'm on my way to the gym. So I'm wearing my regular underwear and then I am going to change into a thong for the rest of the day. You're welcome. It's been a busy day out and about and about to go out again and it's holding up well. The only thing is, is it's more high-waisted than my jeans. So this just feels a bit weird. <laughs> Very strange. But I have this fun little dangly thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's Dan's favorite time of day. <laughs> it's very straight. <laughs> You're really examining it this time. <clears throat> I need to sit from the front as well. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the mirror. Hi. I feel like this is a good one. Yeah? They're the scratchiest ones so far. Mm. I have had a wedgie for most of the day. Is it as good as day one though? That's the question. But you gave yesterday higher than day one. I know. That's the, yeah. But I don't think it's better than yesterday. What did you give yesterday? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Did I you... feel like day one was a seven. Day one was a seven, but I can't remember if yesterday was an eight so or a nine. So I'm going to give this a six. Six. Okay. 
Thank you for your input. Look how much taller. Great. Six. <laughs> Good morning. Dan is <laughs> out this evening. So we're doing the thumb check in the morning. Dan is not a morning person. I was gonna think you've got one problem. Why? It was because, it's because I'm too short for them. Oh uh, yes. It's yeah, because yeah. they're really high, high waisted. When I'm not wearing a bra, my boobs fall over the top of them. I think these are the worst ones. Ooh. I think these are the worst ones. Aesthetically. Yeah. What score Even would you they're give? lacy. They are lacy. But the back is so weird. Well, it's because it's like just fully designed to like yeah. keep your stoma bag in and everything. I'm definitely too short for this level of high waistedness. Yeah, what do they look like from the front? Let's have a look. No. They look like a bodice thing. Yeah. I'm going to say, what was the lowest one I've given so far? A five. A five? I thought it was a four. Oh, maybe you gave something a four. I don't remember. So these are going to be a uh, three. Oh, a three. Yeah. Okay. Do not perform function efficiently or effectively. Well, they perform the function of having a nice little pocket for my stoma bag. They don't perform the function of making me hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is not the primary function. This is... Dan's review is one element of the judging criteria. <laughs> Right, have a great day at work. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I wanted to give you a picture of either how high-waisted <laughs> this thong is or how short I am. Like, what? It's very, it's very intense. We're going to have to wear a dress today. That's better. So when I was just wearing the thong, it felt really uncomfortable but i don't know whether that's because my fanny is used to just one material touching it all week and then this week it's just been like have a new material have a new material have a new material and it's just been like i don't like it because like last night i started to be like oh it feeling a bit irritated so i kind of do feel like whatever the last pair of underwear i was gonna wear would probably feel the least comfortable just because of how irritated my fanny is right now. Um, but as soon as I put tights on, I feel great. I feel great. I, it feels very strange that I have a thong on up to here, but we making moves. We making moves today. I am going out to work in the morning, but nearby, and then I'm out doing some podcast recording further away in the afternoon and depending on how I feel at lunchtime I might come home and change my undies we'll see we'll see it's the final day I just want to let my fanny breathe I'm back for lunch and I'm keeping my thong on because it's doing fine and just one pair of underwear for the day is all right Got my lunch in the microwave, but I am going to change my skirt dress thing because it's windy and it's not, oh, naughty. It's not doing so hot. And yeah, it's not even a dress. It's an oversized shirt, hence the, the crotch slit. So home for an outfit change, but not an underwear change. It's all good because we just change into another autumnal dress. It's Friday, it's 5.30, I've gotten home, pajamas are on. I've taken all of the underwear off because that's what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna have a really cool Friday evening by myself. I've got a patron live stream happening and I'm gonna make myself dinner but before I do that I'm going to eat some Pringles and ruin my appetite for dinner and yeah just chill out um and I guess now is when we skip to the conclusion how do we rate all of the different thongs do you know what I prefer not wearing any underwear and being in pajamas that's just the winner, I think. All right, so that's what happened. And now onto the final scores. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I made a table and everything and we have like the average of the totals. So we're gonna go through each 
thong individually. So, <clears throat> the ASOS thong. This one I gave a nine out of 10 for style. Um, I like the green, I like the lace. It's good. And also the lace is very um, soft. So it got an eight out of 10 for comfort, very good. Dan gave it a seven for sex appeal. <laughs> what is this video? And then I gave it a seven for Stoma bag. Um, and that's just because it like felt pretty secure. Like there was actually a lot of fabric there. And that gives the ASOS one 7.75 average. Everlane, Everlane got a seven for style. I do like just plain black underwear, but there wasn't anything hugely special about it. It's more just like, you know, your everyday underwear. Comfort, I gave a six, but I don't know whether that's because I exercised in it and so I'm just remembering that and I didn't actually exercise in any of the other thongs. Dan gave it a four for sex appeal and then I gave it a four for stoma. Again, not sure whether that's because of the exercising in it and the stoma like constantly like coming out and scratching me, but also because it didn't cover all of the stoma bag on the top. And if my stoma bag gets like, full, sloshy, or gassy, then, I don't know, the way that it moves around in underwear, like, is really important to me, and then if it's ever, like, half of it over the top of a bag and half of it in, then it just gets very annoying and frustrating and it's all I can think about and I'm focusing on that instead of, like, what I'm actually doing. So Everlane gets an average of 5.25. Tala, I gave Tala a five for style. It's not super my style. Again, no, not sure if it's because it's, like, white and I prefer black, but also it feels a bit more, like, sporty. It's not super, like, my style in terms of fashion. Um, I gave it a six for comfort, but also, again, not sure if it's not higher because I didn't have the right size. I wasn't wearing the right size. Um, but I did really love the feel of the band around my waist. Like I liked that the band bit was like tighter because my waist is like the smallest part of me and I like feeling nice and snug there. So that was good. Dan gave it an eight for sex appeal, which I think is, yeah, that was the highest score that he gave. So again, maybe because they were too small for me. And then I gave it a six for stoma. It was okay, occasionally it would like poke out the side, but it was mostly covered. And I think that the tight band across the top really helped. And that gives Tala an average of 6.25. And Summers, I gave it a six for style. And I think that's just because it's kind of similar to the ASOS one, but I prefer the green to the like black meshy sequiny lacy thing. Um, I gave it a four for comfort and I think that's just because it was like itchy. <laughs> like all of the, the pieces on it and the sequins, it just kind of was a bit scratchy. Dan gave it a six for sex appeal and then I gave it a seven for stoma. And I think that's just because it was very similar to the ASOS one in terms of the amount of coverage that I got. And so that, and Summer's underwear gets an average of 5.75. And Vanilla Blush, I gave a four for style. And that's just mostly because the style of how high-waisted it is just doesn't work for my body. I like that the black is more interesting than the Everlane. It's got like lacy parts to it, but it's just, it's just too high for me, it's too high. That being said though, I gave it a six for comfort because even though the style of it I didn't really like, once I was in it and once I was wearing it, I couldn't really feel that it was not fitting my body. Like it, it felt fine, but obviously like I can't wear jeans with it. I can't wear like certain clothes with it because it will like come too, too high up basically. But I gave it a six for comfort because like it was pretty comfortable. Dan gave it a three in sex appeal and then it gets a nine for the stoma bag because obviously that is what it is built for. And everything was like fully enclosed. There was no poking out because it had its own little pouch inside, which I love. I believe I do have other underwear from Vanilla Blush that just isn't a thong and I love that stuff. Or maybe it's bikini bottoms. Yeah, I have a pair of bikini bottoms from Vanilla Blush and they're not a thong, they're like um, full coverage on the butt with the stoma bag thing and I just love them. So, da -da -da -da, they get that. So average uh, Vanilla Blush is a 5.5. I also feel like if we were doing points for sustainability, Everlane and Tala would win in those and that would like boost their scores. But ASOS is the overall winner. Our 
lovely lacy green hair. But I do think when they come back in stock, I would like to get a, another pair of the Tala ones in black and in my size. But there we go. What an emotional roller coaster this video has been. I would love to hear in the comments, you know, if you feel like you are keen to share, what kind of underwear person are you? Also, what are you up to in this global pandemic isolation situation? And what would you want to see from me? I am all ears in terms of what kind of content that you would like to see from me during this time. I am currently free. I got no meetings. I got nowhere to be. I can just make videos. So yeah, let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like to see during this time, either on YouTube or on social media. I am currently doing more Twitch streams. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, um, you can go check out my Twitch channel. We'd be playing games and doing community nights and having chill coloring in streams. So yeah, please like this video if you liked it and subscribe because I'm gonna be making videos every week. Bye.